welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing GS. This is the Goldman Sachs chart. It had earnings yesterday. So the interesting thing is that this was a little crazy yesterday. I called two trades in this yesterday, the day trade and the option. The option was a call. So if you didn't get out of it immediately, which I think a couple people did, but I did not. But anyways, I said, wait a minute, this is a good gap. Sometimes things take a day or two to go, or a couple of days. This went today, it was a beautiful move. So I know that it's hard for people to be patient. <coughs> Excuse me, it's really hard for people to be patient, but you must be patient if you want the profit, okay? So let's take a look at it. So this closed here, gapped up. Closed here the night before at 293.87. This was on Friday. Monday morning at an earnings, open at 305.76, I call the 305 calls. And to be honest with you, it ran up pretty fast to 311.25. Like I said, you could have like scalped it. I'll show you the one minute in a minute. <coughs> but I thought it was a good idea to hold it because I thought it was gonna keep going. It was a very good bullish gap, okay? It did keep going. Here's the breakout play today. Almost got to 320. Really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. Um, and again, could this continue higher? Sure. But to get a trade like this right in and out, you take it and you're down and then it goes the next day, I, I think it's perfectly fine to book the profits. Again, if you get a move that's anywhere near 100%, you can't ignore that kind of money, especially in this type of volatile market. There's so many earnings going on right now. They're affecting the market. This actually affected the market today, this rally today, the market rallied today with it. And this was a big move for the stock, quite frankly. Again, from tip to tail here, it's over, well, not quite 16 points, almost. Pretty close. And that's a big move even for Goldman. So right out of the gate today, this went. Let me just move all this off here. I am not really sure why the market was up today. Follow through. Little bit, teeny win a little bit. But really, no economic data that I could see this morning that we had the gap up in the market. Let me just look here at yesterday. So this was the initial day when I called the trades. Hold on. This is also why it's really important to size yourself correctly. What do I mean? If you take too much risk in a trade and it doesn't go, go the day that you take it, that you feel the need to kill it before four o'clock, then you probably took too much risk. So I say back it off, size yourself appropriately so that you can give the trade a chance to work. Because if you took this yesterday, and got out with a loss, you missed the trade. It went, it worked, it was a positive trade. You don't wanna lose in trades that go positive. That's like silliness, because some trades lose. So you don't, if you're gonna lose in the losers, and you're gonna lose in the winners, then what do you have? So do you know what I'm saying? Yes, sometimes things go immediately, yes, sometimes they do. But the fact is that if you oversize yourself, you'll probably won't hold it. So back off your risk and give these things a chance to work. A day isn't a big deal. Anyways, we also went long this a day trading room. Here's where it moved up immediately. Quick, quick, quick. 311.25, and then it, it pitted off. But again, the market fell yesterday at one point. I forget when we broke off of the market. It's either here or there. This was still a good long, and it worked. It took 24 hours. The whole shebang. Look at that. And again, I talk about this all the time. Institutional money, institutional money. That is a great example of what? Institutional money in a chart. It is buying, that came in. It came in yesterday, and then it came in more today, and it rallied, and it got bought. Really nice move in this. Again, we'll see where this goes. A lot of it's gonna depend on the market and other earnings that come out between now and the end of the week. But this was one of the banks that had a nice move, and again, called a day trade in this, which was a long, even though I'm mostly short, there was a day trade long, and a call for the option. If you're interested in learning my Golden Gap rating system, the classes this weekend, email me at melissathestockswish.com. And if you just want to sign up for the options newsletter, go to my website. I have a six-month subscription and 12-month subscription. Don't miss out. This is a great time to trade. It's a great time to make money, especially trading gaps, which is what I focus on in only gaps. Why? Because it's earnings season, people. Again, this was an earnings play. Great job, everybody that did this. And again, if you're interested in more information about my class or doing options, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.